Finger Fractures Fractures of the fingers and the hand are common. You can see the anatomy, the distal pharynx, the middle pharynx, and the proximal pharynx. And the metacarpals. A mallet finger is a deformity caused from a blow to the finger at the DIP joint. The patient is unable to straighten the DIP due to an avulsion injury. Most often mallet finger injuries can be treated without surgery. A splint the finger in extension. Leave the PIP joint free so it can move. Surgery may be necessary if more than 50% of the joint is involved or if there is subluxation of the DIP joint. The surgery is done to restore the function of the extensor tendon. Middle and proximal phalangeal fractures. The normal relaxed cascade of the hand should form a straight alignment of the fingers. And the fingers should normally point towards the region of the scaphoid. Abnormal alignment. There will be mere rotation of the finger which will cause the affected finger to deviate from its normal rotational direction. Treatment of middle and proximal phalangeal fractures. If there is no rotational deformity, the finger can then be treated by body taping. The injured finger is supported to the adjacent normal finger for two to three weeks. In this example, the finger is injured and is body taped to the middle finger. If rotational deformity exists, then a digital block is given and the fracture is reduced in a volar splint. We will keep the MCP in 70 degree of flexion for proximal pharynx fractures for about two to three weeks, but we will keep the DIP and PIP in zero extension in middle pharynx fractures then body tape them for additional two weeks. Metacarpal fractures, the wrist should be immobilized in 20 degree of extension and the MCP in 60 to 70 degree of flexion. The fingers should be free in order to check for rotation. Finger fractures means a stiffness of the fingers. Be aware of rotation and the stiffness of the fingers. Indication for surgery. Rotational deformity, open fractures, multiple unstable fractures, significant angulation or deformity. Articular displacement, metacarpal shortening, especially with the middle and index fingers. If the fracture is displaced or unstable, close reduction and KOR fixation is an option for fixation. Plating is another option for fixation, however, it is rare. In pharynx fracture treated by ORIF, adhesions of the extensor tendon may occur. The patient may have decreased range of motion of the PIP, which is called extrinsic tightness. The patient will have greater passive PIP flexion with MP extension compared to when the MP is flexed. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.